Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make um, prosthetic mold from basically uh, gelatin plus glycerol. Uh, so we have one part water, two part glycerol, two part gelatin and supposedly one part honey. So first we're supposed to add one part uh, water and one part honey and then that is 50 lit, uh, gram of water plus 50 gram of honey and then 100 gram of glycerol and 100 gram of um, gelatin okay um, but we will first add the water plus the honey heat it up a little bit in the microwave but without boiling it just heat it up and then we pour in the glycerol and heat it up again. Uh, once it's hot enough, we add in the glycerin and stir it. So here I'm heating up uh, the solution in the microwave. Okay, so I'm stirring it using a, a plastic um, covered spoon uh, just to avoid washing everything. So this is how it looked like. And now we're going to add in the gelatin so 100 gram of gelatin this is already being uh, measured from the uh, shop so I'm not gonna weigh it with the main machine and then we're gonna stir it vigorously until all the gelatin get dissolved so we have to really stir it into the solution so I'm gonna stop here and stir in stir it in so I'm just stirring it and make sure it's not uh, lumpy like this. We're going to get it all into homogeneously. If it's not uh, dissolving properly, you can put it back into the microwave and heat it up a little bit, but not until it's boiling. Uh, anyway, I have some food coloring here. Um, basically, I'm using white and pink only. Uh, but the pink you have to put just a little bit so that um, the color looks like cumin seed. Okay, after stirring it for quite some time and reheating it in a microwave, you can see it's no longer lumpy. But it does have a little bit of bubbles inside which is okay. So um, that's the consistency we want. Now, I'm just gonna add the food coloring, so mainly the white color. Okay, so we have the white color. Um, well, this one you have to just estimate. So, just gonna put some here. Okay, I think that's good. Stir in and check and see whether the color looks all right. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, forming a little bit of like brownish color with the gelatin, which has a a brownish tinge so now it, um, I think we need more white so let's put more white there and stir it some more okay so now we get um, a bit like a dirty milky color and okay I'm gonna add in some red just give me a moment Okay, we've got the lid off. Okay, red color is really just a tiny bit. One, two drop. I think that will be enough. Let's take a look. Okay, now it's turning. Yes. Oh, it seems like I put too much red color. Okay, let's stir it a little bit more. Okay. Now it's lightened up a bit, but I think we need more white. Squeeze a bit more white in there. Okay, this is after adding a lot more white and one drop of yellow. I think um, if you're doing this, just reduce the number. Uh, just one drop of red and half a drop of yellow would be fine, but a lot of um, white. Okay, so now the color looks fine and uh, it's ready for the tray. So I bought this tray from the bakery shop. It's just like three ringgit and seventy cents one, I think. So I bought three of them. I'm gonna um, line them up with uh, cling film or uh, cling wraps, 
so that it doesn't stick onto the bottom and then I'm going to pour my solution in and put it in the fridge. Okay, so here I have my tray lined up with cling film and I'm just going to pour it over and spread it out evenly. So um, just do it according to the thickness that you like. So I'm going to spread this out in three trays so that I can get three sets. Okay, here is an example of a tray already filled up. Um, it's still warm, but if you pour it around, you can see the consistency will overflow, but it will form wrinkling like a real person's skin now. So, well, just stick this into the fridge and you'll be ready by the morning. Okay, actually under room, uh, uh, room temperature, after um, 20 minutes or so, now this is the product. Of course, you can see the cling film here, but um, you can see the consistency. I can press it down. It's really soft. Mm, it's mealable. And in fact, it should be stretchable. But um, I don't know. Maybe we can stretch it a little bit. I'll just cover it with um, cling film so that it won't be sticky because the surface is actually quite sticky if you look at this one has been left out so it won't stick onto my hand but it's kind of soft yeah 